I go to the side of the A team. Do that, right? Rock it, man. <laughs> All right, so, Paul, have you ever seen a word cube before? No. No. So, it's, you're familiar with a Rubik's Cube? Yeah. Well, it's basically a Rubik's Cube, but this one has got letters on. Okay. And it's a little bit like Scrabble in that you, you get different letters, you've got to make words. Okay, and you can do a similar thing uh, with the cube. So, uh, if we just take one of these uh, sole sides, so if you look at this side, for example, if you look at the letters, can you make a word from sun? Sun. Yeah. Okay. So that's for like that's a like there's loads of like three letter words that or you can sat. do. Yeah. Sat. sat but yeah. when you try and sort of get a four letter, it gets harder. And then yeah. five. So the, the more letters you add, the harder this becomes. Yeah. All right. Um. So we're gonna we're gonna try this with something that I can't get enough of. Celebrities. Okay. All right. And you'll see, I've actually got. A deck of cards here and this has got the top 50 celebrities mm -hmm. in the world now yeah. all right so got like mariah carey beyonce david beckham etc yeah. etc right uh so we're going to try this but i'm going to get you to uh choose a card all right or actually i'm going to get you to choose a few cards okay um even in fact each one of you, I'll get you to choose. Yeah, there you go. All, all my personalities. Um, yeah. So look, I'm going to um, go through your cards, and I just want you to like reach in and just grab some cards, and you can just yeah, actually just grab it. You can no grab bank. a stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that's fine. It's um, how many have you got there? I've got four. Four. Okay, cool. Um, so the the challenge is is that I'm going to get you to choose any one of those cards you want. I'm going to get you to um, maybe not tell me who it is, but just tell me something about them. From your clue, I've got to try and work out who it is. And then I'm going to try and spell their name okay. on the cube. Right, okay. Okay. Sounds interesting. Um, All right. So, uh, go on. Just uh, choose someone and then 
tell you something about them. Yeah, tell me something about them. I've got facial hair. Um, okay. Uh, anything else that you can add just to narrow it down a little bit? <laughs> They're male. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go for this. Right, I think I am. Um, you know, who is the person you were thinking of? Kanye West. Kanye West. Yeah. And it just so happens. <gasps> I've got. He's done it. Kanye West. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Um, so let's. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let, let's let's try this again. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's try, try someone else. Um, so again, give me another. Uh, a clue about this person. They are not male. They're not male. Okay. Uh, something else? Um, they wear makeup. I'm narrowing it down. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to go for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's actually quite a lot of females yeah, there is, yeah. in, in, in that deck that uh, do wear makeup. Um, who have you gone for this time? Katy Perry. That's exactly <sighs> right for as well. Katy Perry. Oh. Okay, uh, so we've got two cards, uh, two cards left. Um, okay, so... Uh, Choose any one, put put the other one face down on the table. Mm. Okay, cool. All right, so um, give me one bit of information about this person. They've got glasses on. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, it's like guess who? It is like, it's exactly like Guess Who. This person's super famous there. They're quite famous for their glasses. Ooh. Sir Elton John. Elton John. Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John. <laughs> and then um, one, last, one last time, you've got one last selection. I've not, e I don't, I've not even looked at this card, right? No. <clears throat> this, is, this is someone that you know who it is, right? Yeah. Who's the person you're thinking of? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Mm. Like, I don't even need to touch the cube. The card. Touching this side. <gasps> Ed, Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Wow. And then you're probably thinking, all right, if I'm able to practice and do that with all of those cubes, mm -hmm. you're probably thinking, oh, how long does it take you to actually solve the cube? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. What, go on, well, how, how long do you think it'll take me to solve the cube? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, yeah. look. Watch. You ready? Start counting me down. 659, 658. Oh. It's done it, me. You need to get out more. I do. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Yep. Uh, and then I'll tell you what, just put it back in there somewhere. I'm not going to look yep. at it, so we'll, uh, we'll get rid of it. It's in there somewhere, but I don't want you to think I'm kind of cheating, so I'll cut the deck a few times. So in a minute, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use this cube. I'm going to mix it up quite fast using some kind of Rubik's Cube skill moves with my, with my fingers. Yep. And I'm going to look at you both, ask you some questions, and then hopefully rearrange the cube in a certain way. <laughs> The word there is hope, because this has a lot of uh, sort of scope to go wrong. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, first of all, is this is this somebody that you like? You've got to be honest, though. Not, not so much, no. I don't okay. mind. Okay, you, you like this person, that's fine, okay. Uh, just because positive faults are slightly easier to pick up uh, than kind yeah. of negative faults. Uh, is the person living or deceased? Living. Okay, it's not the way I originally thought then, that's fair enough, okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how famous would this person be? Same. Nine. Nine. Yeah. All right, so really, really famous. The sort of person who's been sort of uh, recognised worldwide, as opposed to just in uh, in the UK. All right, cool. I'm done with that. I'm not going to touch again. I'm going to ask the final question, and we'll see what happens. Um, was it a male or a female? Male. Okay. Whatever happens, happens. For the first time, who was your celebrity? Say it out loud. Ed Sheeran. Not Justin Bieber. Not Justin sorry, Bieber. Mate, sorry, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I oh, know you both got the car together listening to it, right? So, no. Uh, it's generally Ed Sheeran, Ed right? Sheeran, yeah. So, if I was able to pull the letters together, all the individual letters, you would kind of see it. But what happened was, before I even asked you the final question, the cube was face down on the table, mm -hmm. which makes this a bit impossible. Because you could have gone for anybody. Yep. But unbelievably, you didn't just go for anybody. You went for this person, Mr. Ed she ran the exact <laughs> person, go. the exact person yep. that you had to go for for this entire experiment to work. That is what that is mad, right? That is weird. I've got a question for you, mate. Okay. Yeah, I know you said he was the most sophisticated, but I find you the most intelligent. This is a learning process yeah, okay. for everyone. <laughs> all right. He's from Cambridge. Oh, there you go. All right. All right. Cool. All right. A bit posh in the building tonight. I like that. Okay. Um, are you easily influenced? Probably, quite. It's weird, because when you ask people that question, some people will say no, and then people will openly kind of say yes, but they're kind of happy to say yes. No, I just think I know it. You know that, you know, know you're yeah, yeah. yeah, I do know. Well, here's the thing. Obviously, I spoke to you at the beginning about this, this whole word cue thing, and it's genuine. This is an actual thing you can buy, but if you had have gone or thought of any celebrity different, this probably would have gone wrong because you kind of had to go for Ed Sheeran because that box has been staring you in the face the entire time. And you'll notice there's some letters on this box as well. And the thing you know, see where it says the word cube? Well, one of Ed Sheeran's famous songs is the A-Team. So if I do that, you get the A-Team, just in your kind of peripheral yeah. vision, which would do that, right? <laughs> one of his other famous wedding songs is something called Per fit which is absolutely strange that's another one of his yeah. songs but one of his most famous irish songs is gal way girl and it's in there right the exact ones you had to go for proving that you are yeah have a look highly suggestible um but that's amazing i know it works wow that's pretty good. i didn't but really it, take notes of his, that, right? yeah i know exactly that exactly right but here's the strange thing about this that is good um some people leave this a little bit disappointed and i'll tell you why because Yes, they see something amazing with this whole kind of celebrity thing that we've just done, but you didn't get to see the Rubik's Cube solve, all right? <laughs> so if I could really kind of do magic and solve the Rubik's Cube, I'd be able to take the cube, throw it up into the air, and it would just kind of solve like that right in front of you. There you go, <laughs> all of the sides completely back to normal, and that would be, there you go, the, uh, the word cube. There you go, guys. Well done. <laughs> Very good. All right.